For all of the differences between cars, one thing has barely changed. Now a revolution is taking shape from an Israeli startup that's reinventing the wheel. I'm riding on a bike from Softwheel. With me is CEO Daniel Barrel, and we're taking the new wheels out for a spin to get a feel for them and find out what's new. What you basically see here is a suspension system, a very, very advanced, complicated suspension system which sits inside of a wheel. The wheel works, it fundamentally works. I've, I've been on many different wheels. Why did the wheel need to be redesigned? The idea to put, of putting suspension inside of a wheel is not new. People have been trying to do it for over 200 years now. Where did you succeed when, where they failed? The biggest problem is how you centralize the hub. The vehicle, like a bike, like a car, like anything else, is connected to the wheel through the hub. Right? You have a hub, spokes, and then a rim. But once you try to put suspension inside, the hub is never centered. It always sags. And once it's sagging, um, it's like riding an egg shape. Softwheel tested their wheels against traditional bike wheels with spokes. This test measures how fast a wheel absorbs and dissipates a shock. Softwheel first put their wheels on wheelchairs, and that's where most of their business is today. To see what their wheels could do for bicycles, we had a competitive cyclist use them mountain biking. The wheels adapted to the rough terrain. The company says it's a smoother ride on a more durable wheel. Softwheel's next step is to put their technology in cars. It's light is ahead of what you see in today's cars. Instead of the impact, the energy, have to travel through the wheel all the way on through the chassis and then absorbing the suspension in some way. Here, it is being absorbed within the wheel itself. CNN is the first to see the design of this new technology. By putting the suspension in the wheel, Softwheel says they can make cars more efficient. Because the energy is contained within the wheel, there's no reason for such a robust, complex chassis. We can simplify the chassis. We can make it less robust. And hence, make it easier to produce. We can make it cost-effective, lighter, and actually better. The wheel hasn't been reinvented in 6,000 years. Perhaps now, it's about time. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Tel Aviv.